our gut bacteria, our microbiome is almost completely gone. And this leads to disease. We can turn this around. Check this out. This is super important. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Let's get healthy. Well, today I want to talk about the fact that we've had an extinction event in our microbiome or our gut bacteria. We should have 800 million trillion good bacteria in our gut. And studies have been done looking at the poo of ancient man, you know, petrified, that type of thing, going back thousands of years, and they had a huge microbiome or lots of bacteria, good beneficial bacteria. We have hardly anything. And new studies show that this may be directly connected to just about every disease that we have going on. New studies show uh, that it may even be connected to diabetes because we don't have the right bacteria. All kinds of things. And this may be the w reason why we are aging so fast in the United States. We have the poorest health in the world now. And this is really not good, that's for sure. And your gut bacteria actually send out little messages to near your thymus, your bone marrow, all different places. So it actually says, hey, we have an invader here. You know, let's get this bacteria. Let's get this, you know, a virus and take care of it. And your immune system takes care of that with T cells, killer cells, all kinds of things. And if we don't have the bacteria, we don't have an immune system. Also, all of our hormones in our body are completely thrown off. There is nothing in our body that is not in the... Uh, harmonized way, in any way, shape, or form, it is really not good. And studies show that it may be connected to dementia, depression, all kinds of different things, you know, and also coming out with you know, inflammation, especially, you know, why we have all this inflammation. You know, people in the United States are inflamed in general, and they wonder why. Well, I can tell you why. We don't have the gut bacteria we're supposed to have. If you can come up with a question, I can directly connect it to your gut bacteria. It's, this is super, super, super important. It's just taking probiotics, and that's not the answer. Ancient man did not take probiotics. It takes a huge amount of fiber to make all that grow. And we are eating so much meat now that it's really terrible. You know what I mean? We actually looked at, you know, micro leftovers from ancient man and living in caves and things like that. And it was mostly plants, exceedingly huge amount of plants that the, he was eating. And there is no fiber in animal products, that's for sure. So, but the fiber makes the good bacteria grow. Absolutely, positively. The closest we have to ancient man is some of the you know, more primitive tribes in Africa that eat 150 grams of fiber every day. And they have over 2,000 different species of good bacteria. Wow, and they just really don't get sick in general. So what to do? We gotta eat lots of wonderful fruits, vegetables, grains, especially beans, lots of green leafy, uh, you know, uh, what you would call greens and you know, good salads and lots of raw, 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 raw. I mean, because a lot of people don't get a lot of raw. You know, that's why they don't, you know, handle raw very well. They got to start eating raw and lots of salads and lots of, you know, zucchini raw and carrots. I eat a lot of carrots. Raw is the key to health. One of the keys to health for sure. And go to your organic farmers and get your produce from there because we spray the heck out of everything, which is not good when we're killing our gut bacteria because all those chemicals impinge upon our microbiome or gut bacteria. My breakfast is almost completely raw. My lunch is completely raw. Half of my dinner is raw. I, and that's why I look so great of going on 71 years so and I feel fantastic and I work out like crazy. To kind of wrap this up again, 
We've had an extension event in the good bacteria in our gut, almost completely wiped out. What can we do? Start eating a lot of raw fruits and vegetables, grains and beans, and lower down your meat consumption, just like early man. Yeah, that's really important. And eat a lot of raw, because if you, you know, cook it, all that bacteria is gone. Simple. There's no doubt about that. We got to get back and our health will come back. There's no doubt about that. We need to change our ways. But, you know, people with change, very difficult for people. And I changed and I know you can too. Also, if you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. I just had all kinds of people I'm working with right now, a lot of cancer people also, and also a huge amount of people with cystic acne, uh, hormonal problems. Wow, I've got so many of those right now. We can turn these around. 831-869-9119. And I'm very inexpensive. We can get you going in the right direction. I promise. Remember God, remember I love you. And pray a lot. I see World War III coming right around the corner. If we don't pray, this is not going to be fun. They're talking about the fact that it could be half the population of the earth wiped out, you know, and uh, over about three or four months or six months maximum. And that would be about four and a half billion people dying. So you got to pray. And that's about the only thing we can do. We don't have control over the situation. And we need to pray and pray hard. I love you.